What's going on, guys? Austin's Props here, bringing you guys my Wednesday, August 9th, MLB Play of the Day. Usually I'm on Mondays, but with how the week slated, I got put on Wednesdays, but super excited to be here today. What's going on, guys? Austin's Props here, bringing you guys my Wednesday, not Monday, August 9th, MLB Play of the Day. I got slated on Wednesday today with how our schedule is lined up, so I'm here today. Tomorrow, we got our Best Bets episode with Matty Chuck, so we're super excited for that. But we got NFL right around the corner. We're less than a month away. I'm super stoked for that. But until then, we're going to keep grinding MLB. And we've been we've been real solid. We went back-to-back sweeps on the Best Bets show, so I'm going to try to bring you guys another winner here today. I got two spots starting off. I got you Darvish over six and a half strikeouts. You Darvish taking on the Seattle Mariners in Seattle, and you has been better on the road picking up nine and seven strikeouts in his last two outings on the road. San Diego, man, their bullpen is absolutely torched. Their last three starters, Seth Lugo, three innings, Nick Martinez, three innings pitch, Rich Hill, three innings pitch. All of these guys, man, under four innings on the on the uh, last outing. So the bullpen has had to pick up a ton of extra work, extremely taxed. And I think this is a spot where San Diego really wants to push you Darvish. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go around 105 pitches today. They, they need him out there. They desperately need length. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get into the seventh inning. And I think we just get a plethora of opportunities to see the strikeouts today. And so that's why I love it at six and a half Seattle, 129 strikeouts third most in the MLB on the last two weeks. So the boys have been swinging and missing. Yeah, they can hit the long ball and run some counts up, but they end of the day, they swing and miss. Their left-handed batters, 25.5% K rate to right-handed pitching. Their right-handed batters, 27.7 K rate to right-handed pitching. That's just as good as you can ask. You Darvish has got extremely good numbers as of recent. And I think this is just a good spot for him where we see him, like I said, be stretched out and have to cover some ground. So that's my first spot I absolutely love. Next spot, game line, Mets versus Cubs over nine and a half runs. David Peterson has been atrocious this year for the Mets. He walks guys. He gives up some hits. He can pick up the strikeout. But the reason I like this spot is I think the Cubs just get after him today. They're batting 296 in the last two weeks. They're red hot. Cody Bellinger is raking left-handed pitching. They got righties that can rake left-handed pitching. It's just such a good spot for the Cubs. And I think the Mets can get after Kyle Hendricks. Kyle Hendricks currently minus 160 over two and a half earned runs. The Mets have struggled this year. It's no secret, but they have some guys that can hit the long ball, obviously. Pete Alonzo, Francisco Lindor, Brandon Nimmo gets on base. They got guys in that lineup that are capable, and so – at nine and a half or at nine, I think this line should be at nine and a half, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it bump up. But I think at nine, you get that push potential at worst. I, I think one of these starters are in line for a six, seven run outing where they just get shelled. So I think there's upside that either or could have that happen. And I also don't trust the Mets bullpen. They've struggled. They traded David Robertson, so they obviously lost their best arm. And they're kind of just throwing guys. Their season's kind of over. They're, I guess at this point, they're playing for a rebuild. So I just think there's too many ways this one can go over, and I absolutely love the spot. At minus 110 is what I got it at currently at 9.0 runs total. So we're taking the run line. So you Darvish, over 6.5Ks, minus 115, and the run line. Those are the two spots I absolutely love, and that's what I'm hammering. So let's go 2-0, show some love on the show, run it up. Your guys' support has been amazing. I appreciate it. Peace.